Hey guys, Shade753 here to bring you another Fanboys Exposed video. Now this guy has just been hating on Bruce Lee. He's just hating on Bruce Lee for no good reason. Now let's watch this. Okay, so to start this off, he says like, why, dang it, why the fuck do people think Bruce Lee is so great? I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but I don't give a fuck. Like all... Oh, like, all he is known for is his movies, which is obviously fake. This movie... Uh, look. Just look. look. He, he's never been in a professional fight. So what if he's not professional? Uh, a fighter is a fighter, period. If you get in a street fight, that's a real fight. If you get in a professional fight, that's a professional fight. It doesn't make a difference. A fight is a fight. Uh, and look, 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 but he had so much rumors about him, like he had a special p boxing bag, ha, huh? that wasn't a rumor, that was a fact, don't believe me, watch yourself. Number eight, Bruce Lee was too strong for punching bags. These are facts, not just parts of his movies, but facts about his actual Normal real life. Humans. Regular heavy punching bags usually weigh around 70 pounds each, with some more substantial ones weighing more than twice that at 150 pounds. But for a fighter like Bruce Lee, that was hardly any weight at all. Ignore the clips from the movies, okay? In fact, his strikes were so strong that he apparently needed his punching bags to weigh a whopping 300 pounds. He also needed those bags to be full of metal. Otherwise, the bag would be too easy for him to kick clean through. That wasn't a rumor. That was a fact. He needed his punching bags to, be, to weigh that much and contain metal. That's a fact. Confirmed from official sources. And no, I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that because... Like, I know that Watch Mojo is an official source, but Watch Mojo got it from an official source. Uh, look, these are facts about his life, people. Oh, and this guy brings up a good fact that Bruce Lee is an officially recognized superhuman. He's, an, he's in the, one of the world records for superhuman feats. Look at this guy, idiot. Oh, he's not a superhuman at all. And he could easily lift his own body weight. Like, uh, like... He is a lie by TV. Lots of people thought he was so great when in reality, he like, you know what? I have, how about this? You bring up some proof that he was a fake. Prove that he was a fraud. Yeah, prove it, man. <laughs> you can't, can you? And now the guy claims that he can do a one finger push up, which is what half of Bruce Lee could do. Well, like, Bruce Lee could do a two finger push up. This guy's claiming he can do a one finger. Wow. Wow. You need have you have any evidence to back that up? What? No? Exactly. So shut up. And look at this horrible episode. And look at this horrible insult. Mr. Suck Up to Bruce Lee. You called him Mr. Suck Up to Bruce Lee. Wow. Wow. That was That was like the best insult ever. Um Wow, well, I mean that would destroy him. Seriously, you're an idiot, man. Is that if that's really all you can come up with? Then just wow. You're an MMA fanboy. That's re that's really what you are. Just an MMA fanboy. Look. In fact, let's. Oh, another. And here's a thing that this that this fanboy MMA fanboy didn't get correct is that Bruce Lee. Well, now this guy was incorrect. He didn't invent MMA specifically, but he did. He's the one. Of the, he's one of the reasons that MMA exists. Like as this guy points out, Bruce Lee f first used a hy a hybrid martial arts and popularized it. Bruce Lee, who made martial arts so popular around the world, if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't even have MMA. Just ridiculous. And then he claims that all all the camera work in all the claim all the camera work in his movies were obviously fake. He, according to official sources, the, he did not use any special effects for his punches or kicks. They had 
They actually had to ask they had to ask Bruce Lee to slow down his punches and kicks so they would look like a normal blur instead of suit too fast. Those are official sources. In fact, what I'm about to show you is an official source, but it's, uh, it's they got it from one. Watch. Bruce Lee. Look, everything about Bruce Lee's speed was true in real life and in the movies. Look, he went through all... Bruce Lee... Look, just go to this website and read it for yourself. Bruce Lee even has the record for, like... He used to hold the record for world's fastest movement. Well, he currently does. I don't know. He's, I mentioned, they mentioned something about record here. This is real captured footage of his speed. Look, and right here he says he had no fights. He had no fights. Really? A fighter is a fighter, professional or not, man. Doesn't matter if you're professional or not. If you get in a fight on consistent, if you consistently keep getting in a fight on a basis, you are a fighter by definition. In fact, you could argue that being in a street fight would be like more real than a, any professional fight because the professional fights have rules set to them. In a street fight, there's no rules, so, uh, so, professional is just puts limits. Uh, like here's this, like, like a fight era is if they have fights. He's just stuck to whoever wishes to fight. He was a fighter, but on. basically, he's saying that go, that he'd never even been in a fight. So, not only are you going to ignore all the karate tournaments he was in, but you're going to ignore all the street fights he was in. A fight is a fight, professional or not, every fight counts. Any point, any, any point in time where, you, where fists are flying, that's a fight, a physical confrontation. Wow, you, you're just impossible. Oh, dang it. Sorry, guys. My battery was about to die. But, look. Once again, he says, oh, look, that everything that he's done in his movies is fake. It's all fake. Even though all kinds of official sources prove, show that it was real. No special effects. Everything he's ever done was real. Wow. <laughs> and look at this. Look. This guy makes a good, makes a really good point. This guy he invented his Bruce Lee invented his own martial arts form that is actually recognized. It, it was re recognized in one sec. I don't know the words of what I'm trying to say. He freaking invented Jet Kune Do, a martial arts that was officially rec that's been officially recognized. There's been all kinds of doc. If you would look at his at the guy's documentaries, you know about his real life and everything about him. And now he's talking trash about Jet Kundo. He says that Jet Kundo sucks and that nobody uses it. You know, a lot of people use it. And like he also believe uh, Bruce Lee also believe that you should be allowed to grab nuts in a fight. Well, Bruce Lee said himself that he doesn't like professional fights because he doesn't like rules. So. In, a, in any kind of fight, street, especially street fights, that should be acceptable since the guy was a street fighter. So, yeah. yeah. That was just a fail right there. In fact, like, in fact let, me, let me get into this. Like, he believed that you should be allowed to grab nuts in a fight. IDK, what kind of puss, pussy is he? He is a fight. Yeah, he's calling him a pussy. Look at this. Look at this. Also, you do know that all forms of martial arts teaches not only nutshot moves, but arm breaking techniques and killing techniques. So for someone who claims to know a lot about MMA, you think you would know about something like that. But no, you don't. Wow. And I love this guy. He points out he points out a great fact. But yes, because 
anyone, especially an MMA fighter, would be able to, like, anybody would be able to get into Bruce Lee style fighting. I mean, like, everybody has gone through the life experiences that Bruce Lee has. Everybody has had their country torn apart and, ha ha and had to grow up mostly on the streets, just, just like that. Everybody is a philosopher like Bruce Lee was. Everybody could easily get through that. No. No. Wow. You, you are an intelligent man. I love you, man. I love you, man. You. You are not that. You are not that at all. Well, guys, that's all I've got for today. Uh, like and subscribe. My phone is about to die. So, sorry, I gotta cut this.